Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the hashtag Soch Meads News podcast. I'm Mariano. And I'm Pauline. Or Pauliano, as people like to say around Pauliano. here. Pauliano. <laughs> Which is pretty awesome, so let's, let's be upfront with that. <laughs> Now, we've got a few things to talk about this morning, first of which being what we are going to do this weekend because we're totally awesome and our lives are fun. Now, so much fun. I personally am planning on sleeping the entire weekend what? away. Oh, lucky. <laughs> well, Sunday I'll wake up, go to church, but that's about it. Oh, well, see, that's fine. I mean, I actually slept last night too because last weekend, for those of you who don't know, I slept in a dog park because I am not from this city. He slept in a dog park. Were there any dogs with you? Uh, no, I wish. I was really considering bringing my dog too. You should have went to like, like, <laughs> this is terrible, but you should have went to a dog resort. Would have been better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work at a dog resort and I would sleep with the dogs. Hey, I, I mean. Yeah, I would cuddle with the aggressive dogs. I heard they're yeah. pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, I would. Well, I was a trainer, so I would cuddle with the aggressive dogs because it was fun and it made Ooh. me look cool. Mm, yeah. I'm not, I'm not that adventurous. I, I think I am. <laughs> I went there. But see, I upgraded. I was pretty much at the Ritz. I was on a couch and it was noise. <laughs> leather and everything. I felt like Queen Bay, your best okay. friend. Yeah. The only thing about leather couches is that... You stick, I know. You like it stick. Yeah. yeah. And then especially like in the summer. Well, this is different when you're in a car and it's in the summer and you sit on like the leather seat. Oh, and it's hot. Yeah, it's that. really hot. <laughs> I know. When I wear a skirt, it really hurts my legs. Of course. Oh, wait, that's you. I know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get into our first topic here. So we've got twitter accounts being hacked i know i told you about twitter well okay see but the thing is like i can understand if somebody gets their twitter hacked but it's pretty like big profile people getting um mm -hmm. their accounts hacked. i know mark, mark zuckerberg, zuckerberg me yeah <laughs> kylie jenner <laughs> kylie i know was hacked and i think it's really i mean it's not funny when somebody's account gets hacked right. because i'm sure that's really stressful and everything but Mark Zuckerberg, I know it was like his Pinterest account and his Twitter both. And the people that are taking responsibility for doing that are saying that I guess he just uses the same password mm -hmm. and everything for all his accounts. And it was embarrassing for me because kind of so do I. So oh. like <laughs> as I read that, I was like, oh, okay, let me just go. I'll be right back. I'm no, going to yeah. go change my password. If somebody ever were to like figure out my password they could hack into my entire life Seriously. it's what i use for everything i know so that's probably something i should definitely change but then i'm worried about always having to remember me too the that's password. why they're all the same exactly yeah and as soon as i change it i forget it and then you have to go through that whole thing where they, oh, they send you, you an email your password yeah. yeah and i'm like dude i'm just trying to log on your mother's maiden name and yeah. like let's type in <laughs> exactly exactly first pet and stuff and but I guess if it can happen to Mark Zuckerberg, it can happen to any of us. And that's true. Because he's pretty, you know, he's dominating the social media world. So I know, right? If Right behind us, obviously. Clearly. <laughs> of course. Of course. You know, got like my 14 followers. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> 15. Don't be modest. <laughs> 15. Well, if you follow me, it'll be 15. Uh, there we go. See, Mariana doesn't even follow me well, on anything. There's a, so there's we're like fake friends. Exactly. We're just like work Frenemies. friends. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah, we just get along on the mic but in life doesn't want anything well to i will but i couldn't find you i saw you on um facebook I oh didn't... you saw me on facebook yeah Ooh, creepy <laughs> <laughs> how do you find me on facebook did it, you just look up my name no it popped up like of people you may know because okay. of jordan and keith yeah see okay that's the thing about facebook that kind of freaks me out too sometimes because people will pop up and i'm like creepy how yeah dare you? <laughs> i'll see well, i'll see like i'll have like a friend and then like their siblings will pop up and uh -huh. i'm like oh this oh, yeah. is really odd like, who am I popping up on? I don't like that. Oh, I don't know. I mean... I should... They should put... I'm sure there's, like, a security thing. Well, there is. I mean, like, not just anyone can add you. You can change that. I mean, so even if people... Oh, true. Yeah. I mean, everything on my page is private. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. I hope. I like it private. I, I don't know. I, I didn't... Well, you're the one doing all the stalking. Go well, I, <laughs> well, you know, being a professional stalker <laughs> myself, apparently, I I really actually didn't look that much. Like, I, I saw you there, and I was like, Polly... Oh, look, it's Polly. <laughs> and, uh, and then I was like, oh, yeah, that is you. And I was going to add you and I forgot. Oh, oh, so you thought about it. I think that's what happens with everybody with me. They think about it. What? and They're like, oh, no, just forget it. You already think I'm a stalker, so no. I'm not gonna add, you have to add me now. <laughs> I'll, I'll think about it. Guys, we'll that's, consider how, that's it. how the chase works. She has we'll, to add me. <laughs> we'll consider it. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I ain't sending you no tweets. No tweets. Well, as long as you don't poke me, because I think that's when it oh, gets kind of Oh, that's stupid. Odd. Yeah. I, people Why poking. is that even a thing? I mean... P 
people still do it. I know. I always wondered, like, uh, when you poke, what it, what's the response to a poke? I never understood that. I mean, if you poke me, I'm gonna think you're a creep, and I'm just not gonna poke back. Right, but like, what's the, what's the poke supposed to be? You know, maybe like know. if my grandma poked me, I'd be like, oh, that's cute. Hi, grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, but, grandma. Uh, <laughs> but my grandma speaks pure Spanish too, so it'd be like, poke, hola, mijo, cómo está. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's great. That's great. No, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be for flirting. But that's the thing with social media, though? too. Like, flirting is so weird No, now. but the thing is, flirting is not, you know, people have the wrong idea of flirting. It's like, poking somebody? That's so, like, you poke a friend. You don't, you don't, no, flirting with don't, your just don't poke anyone. Yeah, well, don't poke anybody, don't first poke of all. Anyone. But, yeah. Because, like, oh, I don't know. That just gives, makes my skin crawl. But I just mean, it's not, it's nothing flirtatious. It's nothing sexy. It's nothing, like, oh, he poked me. Like, how, you know, it's, right weird true but i mean some people feel that way about likes yeah, and um, some people are like oh because if somebody likes like four of my pictures one i'm gonna be really excited because nobody likes my pictures <laughs> <laughs> i'm a little dry on instagram <laughs> but dry is um, another word for thirsty ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> thirsty <laughs> no. for the likes no please like pauline that tell, well, tell them your tell them your, your like instagram hashtag thing that way that'll your handle sorry uh so my handle is at hey miss parker underscore so if you ever want to follow me go ahead hey miss parker hey miss parker that reminded you know. me of i'm sorry miss jackson don't forget the underscore though oh, okay don't forget the underscore hey miss else... parker underscore what no just hey miss parker underscore <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> i mean well you have to like there's like a billion hey miss parker so i was like okay i have to put something i gotta be different and stand out guys <laughs> come on <laughs> that's actually my handle on like everything so now all you guys can stalk me. Exactly. Hey, Miss Parker. Let's all just stalk her together. Let's hey. All just, I'm going to L.A. this weekend. Um, and this is we're in Sacramento, so I'm going from Sacramento to L.A. via the public Amtrak system. Ooh. I plan on doing this with minimal sexual favor for people in exchange for my, Stop self, it. my health and safety. It's inappropriate. I'm just kidding. Don't mind him, you guys. <laughs> but I'm Don't going down for my grandparents' um, – well, my grandfather's birthday. He's going to be 80, like, 7, which wow. means he's old. And it's going to be... That's the new young. Is it? It is. No, he's old. People can live forever. Yeah, but I love him for being old because he, he treats me still like it's the old times. Like, he'll give Aww. me, like... He gives me, like, f- like four or five dollars. I'm here, here, mijo, for, you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh, oh that's cute. He'll give me, like, Hot Wheels and... Oh, stop seriously. It. Yeah. Can I come? I'm 23. No, you can't come. <laughs> oh, wow. See, see, I told you guys, we're fake <laughs> friends. We're fake <laughs> friends. <laughs> anyway, the, the moral of this story is don't sleep in dog parks because it's colder than you might think at four in the morning and change your passwords. Change your passwords, people. Don't share them. Don't save them. Yeah, don't. Sh- exactly. Too. Can, like, yeah, don't it. save them. Right. And follow Miss Parker on Twitter and Instagram. At Hey Miss Parker. At, there you go. <laughs> You know who else got hacked, though, was Drake, Kylie Jenner, uh, Lana Del Rey, who I'm not sure exactly who that is. I think she's a singer. Oh, cool. Well, Lana Del Rey, the singer who I totally know about. I think, right? I think so. Let's go with that. I hope so. They um, <laughs> they all got hacked. I, were they all on Twitter? I think it was mostly Twitter. And they were saying, like, okay, the hackers, I believe, were called, like, they go by, like, Aiden. They were yeah. saying that they got yeah. a lot of this off of MySpace. Yeah, I was going to say, is they, they get it off of other bits of social media. So if... You use your same password and they hack one, they have access to the others. So change your passwords. Change your password, change your email. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Exactly. <laughs> Just be safe. Exactly. <laughs> Don't be lazy. I'm Just lazy. Just keep it safe. Oh, and there are also, um, I read about this, that there are some... Um, like apps and like websites that will generate just like random passwords for you that will work so i mean i guess that's an option if you can't think of one mines are literally always the same mine too but i'm just i'm afraid of that because if a site is generating a password that seems kind of already (sighs) i mean everything on the internet is sketchy (laughs) yeah yeah that's true (laughs) (laughs) well you know you know what that reminds me of that i'd like to get into after we you know Take a quick word from After our super our awesome, rate. exactly our advertisement people because they're awesome and we like money. Is Tinder? Ooh, Tinder. That's a good social media thing. And I just realized I came to Sacramento. That's a big city. I think I'm going to jump on Tinder and see who's there because that could be fun to talk about. <laughs> you won't find me. <laughs> and if you do, then it's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I'm already stalking swipe, you and everything swipe, else. I know. Swipe, swipe. <laughs> and then there's this new super like feature. Did you know? Do you know about Tinder? Oh, a super like? No, uh, I don't know anything about. I'm trying to act classy. We know. Just... No, I really don't know anything about <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> well, there it's it's very simple. It used to be just like swipe left for uh, that's all yes, I know, and yes. swipe no for right. But uh, now, but it's like like or don't like. And now there's a super like. Oh, so like I. have I really like you. Exactly, but that's just thirsty to me. I, I Dude, it's like a poke. I it's wouldn't, weird. It is, right? I wouldn't super like don't anybody. Don't super like me. I no, wouldn't. You yeah. don't know me. Exactly. Ew, no. Bye. <laughs> Let us go to this break. Bye. Thanks, advertisements. We are very grateful. We will be right back. Right back. Do you want to be healthier, yet you just don't know what to do? All these shows telling you this and that, but nothing seems to work. Well, listen close. Golden State Media Concepts has got something great for you. The health and wellness podcast dedicated to workout trends, healthy eating habits, diet, and everything about healthy living. Join us in our banters as we help you not just live life to the fullest, but live it to the healthiest. We're back. Welcome back. I hope you like those advertisements <laughs> because they're super awesome. Yeah, I. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Sorry that you guys have to take a break and then you guys have to wait to hear my voice again. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, thank you very much. We really do appreciate you guys having us here because this is really fun. Now, I stuck to what I said. We were on Tinder just now. We were on Tinder. Looking at people in the Sacramento area. Suck town. Yeah, suck town. And to be <laughs> honest, I don't know what the girls look like here because I have a very uh, specific algorithm. You can see me. I look so cute. What okay, are you well, talking okay, about? Okay, well, the... The I'm one, a great representative. You, you are. <laughs> you should be in the Sacramento House of Twitter representatives. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have this thing where you don't look, you just swipe. You just like, 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 like. Because <laughs> you can always go back and unmatch someone. So it's, just, it's really, it's just good math. And the thing is, again, I'm not from here. So I slept at a freaking dog park last night. It cannot get any worse than that. So, so anybody in Sacramento. Exactly. Anybody in Sacramento who has a, an open place Thursday night, what up? What up? <laughs> <laughs> We'll crack jokes for a couch. Exactly. Exactly. You know, we'll work for a food. or other things for a couch. Hey, stop! I, <laughs> <laughs> what are the other ones? There's Twitter. There's um, what's Poff. That? Poff. Plenty of fish. I love. I that. call it Poff. Let's pop it all day. Poff. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna download that one just to. Just I think to say there's pop. like bagel and cheese or cheese and coffee and bagel. Oh, I was like. The- <laughs> I don't know what they are. I just think it's weird. Okay, but I will admit, I do mm, have a friend that uh-huh. um, you know what a friend she is. had a pop. It wasn't me. It really wasn't me. Did she pop it up all day? She well, she met this one guy off pop, and then it so happened he was my other friend. So it was really funny because they oh. both were talking to me about a person that they like were oh, conversing with on pop, and then yeah. I was like, wait a second, <laughs> and then I was like. Oh yeah, they're great. Like they're actually a normal person. <laughs> did you did you play it off like so? You know now that they're talking about someone you know, and you're like, oh, they sound interesting. No, like, no, I told them I was oh, like, okay. well, to the girl, I was like, no, dude, like I know him. Like he's actually like a normal person. Oh, okay. And then we all ended up going to a basketball game, and popping it up. Nice. I mean, I was just cheering on the game. They were like talking and getting to each out. other. Exactly. But yeah. I was just you know doing my <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, so I guess sometimes it works. But that would be so weird. Like, what if I saw somebody that I knew on like pop or weird. like uh, not pop? I don't even know what it's called. Plenty of fish. On plenty of fish. Like Which, that's weird. I'm sorry. No. Let me just say this for the sake of the podcast. We are not endorsed by any of these. These are just things that we do in our spare time. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. They. Oh yeah. They should pay us. They this should totally pay us. Of... I know. I'll puff it up all day. Just give me money for it. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will. Pay me. <laughs> well, I just think, okay, just in general. Or like, just pay me in a place Social media dating or like online dating, I guess is what people call it. Mm-hmm. But um, I get too nervous. Like what if it's, you can steal anybody's picture. That's you can true. put it on there and you could pretend. And then I, what if I do go meet up with you at a basketball game and then it's just like, no, gotta yeah. go. And run. then your head ends up in a really cool like glass case. And no. they're, <laughs> you know, um, you know, I mean, we could still watch the basketball game, but I probably won't exa- ever call I mean, you again. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, if you're not paying for the ticket, huh? Yeah. If I'm, I mean, if Miss I pay Parker. for the ticket, if I pay for the ticket, I'm still staying. I'll be like, you know what? Let's get some popcorn. Let's enjoy this. Gotta go. <laughs> Good thing I drove myself. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, in terms of like stealing pictures, not um, let me be clear because this could come out wrong. I've never done that, but I was afraid of exactly that mm -hmm. because catfish. Exactly, mm -hmm. I, I'm afraid of being catfish. Let's put it that way because without saying too much, I engage in some. <laughs> not puffing. Oh my gosh, where is this going? <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> How do I put this? I don't know. Think politely. very carefully. Okay. <laughs> There's different forms of social media, and I engage in many of them. Wow. And some of them you have to be more, more selective, careful. Mm -hmm. um, you should always be careful on the yeah. internet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always be careful on the internet. Just. I treat the internet like I treat a car. It's it's fun and people think that you have it all down packed, but it's a giant 4,000 piece of metal. You know, it's yeah. just be careful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, with that being said, let's stray away from this topic and uh, what else we got going so on. So anyways, back to likes and everything. So Instagram has, um, well, they oh, announced in the beginning of the year. Yeah, that the they new were algorithm. Stop. Yeah. And so they decided that they're not. Like you, when you post pictures and when you get on your news, or not your news feed, excuse me, your timeline, mm -hmm. that it's not going to show the pictures in the order that they were posted. It's right. going to basically show you pictures um, that Instagram believes are more important to you. Mm -hmm. And they haven't really revealed what determines what they believe is more important to you. But um, a lot of people, of course, were really upset in yeah, the beginning of, of the year. They're really like, upset. oh my gosh. And then people... We're posting those really annoying um, oh, I know. pictures. Turn on my notifications. Like, don't miss my posts and everything, which, I mean, like I said, I wasn't worried about. Yeah. I only get 20 likes anyways, so. <laughs> but I get um, like six. It must be nice <laughs> being a girl, seriously. And so, but Instagram has also revealed, um, one of their representatives just um, stated that now that they've made this change, they've mm -hmm. slowly been testing it throughout these last few months, but that people actually comment and like more pictures now. So even though all of us were complaining that we weren't going to like it, according to you know Instagram's research, we clearly do because we're engaging more with people's pictures. We're liking it more. So I guess... Instagram is doing a good thing with I know, this. So shut up, people, because it's working. <laughs> I <laughs> Just mean... kidding. No, but I do understand. I, from what I understood when I heard this story was mm -hmm. it's the people who aren't as popular because there's those guys like I'm a big fitness nut. So I'll follow the like Devin Physique and, of course, all those fit chicks. Hello. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> by the way, fit chicks hit me up on Tinder um, <laughs> <laughs> or Puff. Puff. Um, <laughs> what I understand is some of the algorithm is like the more likes you tend to get, mm -hmm. you'll be up there. Uh, yeah. So I'm never gonna be exactly. Up there. Yeah, because you suck. <laughs> great. Yeah, I won't be up there either though because I get less likes than you, which is I. So my likes are just gonna continually go down. And let's just like each other and just become dumb Instagram famous. <laughs> but we have to. Dang. But not if we just get one like each. Well, let's you know, let's let's get that hacker to just give us dumb likes. No. Like <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, let's do it's that. It's not gonna That's... work. I'm never gonna be Instagram famous. I'm not cool enough. You're Insta cool enough. Come on, we can totally I'm not do that. Insta -cool enough. You're totally Insta cool enough. Be all over I mean, the Insta world. I'm glad that I feel like I'm cool enough, but I mean, mm, mm, it starts mm. mentally. It does start mentally. Mm -hmm. I mean, I should just maybe like make one of those like, um, you know, how celebrities will have like those fan pages. Mm -hmm. Fan pages always have a lot of followers. Yeah, I can make like a Beyonce fan page. <laughs> So I mean, might, she has like four. I was gonna billion, say, I was, but... I, I was like, you know what? There might be one already. <laughs> I follow like four. I'll need to check. Why do you? Why would you follow four? Because I love her. Are you four times a fan? I'm four times her fan. Beyonce, yeah. just so you know, follow her. Yeah, B, come on, girl. Queen Bay. I love you. And you know what? You just reminded me of our very next topic, which was National Best Friends Day. Yes, that just passed. And hey, I mean, if you ask me, I think me and Beyonce would make great best friends. That sounds like <laughs> logical math to I me. I mean, she can inspire. I mean, I already support everything that she does. <laughs> I totally, I would encourage her throughout everything. I'd babysit Blue. Go. It's not a problem. <laughs> I mean, I honestly think I would bring more to the table than her. <laughs> you heard it here first. Isn't it? So Beyonce, what are you waiting for? I know, B, come on. We're great <laughs> friends. We're great friends already. Who'd, she just doesn't oh, know it. You yeah. know, I didn't think of this. Who'd be my best friend? Who'd be a good friend for Who'd you? be a good friend, blah, 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 best blah, 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 blah. friend for you? Um, let's see who would make a good best friend with you. I mean, I thought we could have been great friends, but clearly. Well, I mean, um, no, no offense, it's okay. But... It's okay. <laughs> who would make a great best friend for Mariano? I don't want to step on Beyonce's toes. Do you want a girl best friend or a guy best friend? I, I, you know, I really don't care. You really don't care? Yeah. Mm. 
Just somebody adventurous because I do Ooh, fun you things. do adventurous yeah. things. Okay, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! No, okay, you no. guys are both really, like, odd, but think, hey. like, odd things are fun. Like, I mean, he likes okay, to go on adventures. Right, okay, fine, but let me give He's, you He's, like, the... hitchhiking everywhere right now. But let me give you the one difference that I've noticed in him, like, from what I've heard. Oh, so for, you already decided that you guys won't make this Exactly. Good <laughs> We've talked about it. We sat down. He begged me. It was terrible. Uh. <laughs> um, he's mean. He's mean to people. I'm not mean to people. Oh, but he's probably not mean to, like, his close circle. But I'm not even mean to, like, random people. That's that's not cool. Well, that's why you guys would make great best friends because you can teach, you know, rub off on him. Tell him that. But then again, I mean, you don't have to deal with all his stress. I feel like he has That's to. true, too. I don't know. But I just – I don't want to be associated with Shia LaBeouf. That sounds – Aw. It's okay, Shia. Weird. I love you. You know what? Actually, fine. Fine, fine, fine. No. I'm no. Be- he, we take it back. No. You cannot just take – You can't just you. throw somebody's friendship away and take it back. If you can be friends with Queen Bay, I can be friends I- with Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> So you know what? But you Shia just LaBeouf, said you didn't want to. Shia LaBeouf, what up? Hit me up on social media other than Tinder and Puff. Yep. Um, <laughs> meaning, oh, so now you guys have not. restrictions on your friendship. Well, come on. Okay, well, fine. anyways. Fine. Fine. If you really want to, I'll rub off on you, but only in one way. So you have to choose right up front. Oh, my gosh. Too much. You did it. You started it. Too much. It. You started too much. It. Well, anyways, National Best Friend Day. Everybody always posts like – I mean, they post really cute pictures. Yeah, I like did. to post – pictures i have a really good best friend um we've been friends since second grade and i love to embarrass her with like our old pictures <laughs> when we thought we were cool but we really weren't like now uh-huh. like <laughs> oh, just kidding <laughs> <laughs> and she's my best friend lauren she's probably gonna freak out with me stating this but we grew up as really big tomboys like we literally were practically boys so growing up so a lot of our pictures when we posted of each I other it's <laughs> See, I'm telling you, Beyonce, we're made for each other. You inspired that song. But Lauren and I, we, all of our pictures were wearing like basketball jerseys and like our pants, like sweatpants. It's gross. But I mean, National Best Friend Day, if you wouldn't be a best friend if you couldn't embarrass each other. Right. You know what? We have to go to break pretty soon, but let me just say then in honor of that. Respect your best friend because it is hard these days to find somebody that will stick with you. And it's really hard to find somebody that will stick with you and be honest and upfront with you. Right. So let me give a shout out to my best and oldest friend. His name is Derek. Hey, Derek. And um, he's a really good dude. He's all over my Facebook. So if you want to stalk me back, you'll see him. I'll find him. Um, You might like (laughs) him. Does he have Tinder? You might like him, actually. (laughs) Oh, God. Here we go. (laughs) Seriously, now that I think about it, you might like him. I'll show him to you. (laughs) Now we have to go to a break so I can see. Right. You guys can pop it up. I I will not judge at all. (laughs) Um, yeah, give a big shout out to your best friends. They deserve it. Being friends sometimes can be a little taxing, can be a little challenging, Mm -hmm. but you know what? We're all here to love each other and be respectful to your friends. Let's listen to these quick advertisements and we will be right back. We'll be back. Want to find out what movies to go see? Then check out the GSMC Movie Podcast. It's your ticket to the latest movies, whether it's a new blockbuster event, romantic, comedy, or action flick. This show has got it all covered. They talk some what to go see now. Don't bother. What's hot on Netflix and everything in between? That's gsmcpodcast.com backslash movie dash podcast. When it's all about the movies, it has to be this new show. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and follow them on twitter visit gsmcpodcast.com for more info guess who's back 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 again (laughs) back from break back back (laughs) with mariana he's back too sorry about it you guys couldn't kick him out <laughs> well it is part of the contract thanks very much <laughs> Pollyano. Pollyano. so something that i know that my mom always complains about is mm-hmm. that i'm obsessed with keeping a room media. dirty oh well yeah my room mm, i mean it's all right okay. i mean it's whatever i cleaned mine <sighs> but <laughs> but there has been new research that teens especially mm. really are obsessed with social media. And yeah. it has to do with the fact that um, seeing likes or seeing, um, yeah, likes or that people. Um, like retweets and. And retweets and everything have to do with the reward portion of our brain. So right. seeing that is also um, 
it's almost like we're rewarding. We're getting a reward from something that we've posted or something that we have tweeted out. And so it's actually really interesting. It is, right? And mm-hmm. it's and it's something – to be clear, this – I'm sure was, you know, a study done by doctors, which we are not. Definitely but not. But what you're saying is that there's the reward center of the brain, that whenever mm-hmm. you do something that you consider to be gratifying, your body gives you that sense of, oh, you've done a good thing or, oh, this right. feels good. Now, teens tend to associate likes and retweets and just really just any kind of attention on social media mm-hmm. with – you know, oh, I've done a good thing. Oh, I'm getting rewarded. Oh, this is what I want to be doing. Exactly. So, and like the approval. Exactly. Um, a- approval seeking. Right. 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 Or like fitting in type behavior, which is, I guess, normal for us. I mean, we're all social people. Mm-hmm. But did you know that 90% of teens have at least, 90% yeah. have at least one type of social media? Like, yeah. And then 71% have more than one. That's I a agree. Lot, that's a lot of people. And it's, and it's one of those things where... Um, it's almost like if you don't have a social media account, then you're not cool. You're not right, you know, which is totally true. Which, no, just kidding. And I, <laughs> not true at all. I remember growing up like, um, well, I'm not that old or anything, but mm-hmm. <laughs> but in the when, olden days, um, when I think I just got my, I started up an Instagram account back when they first allowed like Samsungs to get it because I had a Samsung phone. Uh-huh. So I had to wait for it to be released because before it was just an um, app for iPhones. Uh-huh. It was just on the iTunes store. I didn't know that. So yeah. And so I I used to think to myself like, oh, I'm missing out on a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And Where's then my once, life going? Exactly. You know, because <laughs> everybody was like, Pauline, you don't have it. Like all of this, whatever. Time is insta-wasting. Insta- <laughs> so, and that was how I was feeling. And I think It came out when I was like, um, I think like a freshman in college or like a senior in high school. So like I was, you know, a little bit older. I was like a young Mm. adult at that time. You were almost like a young Beyonce, you might say. I, I, you know, I was blossoming. I was blossoming. And so (laughs) it's one of those things where even at that age, I was still really concerned about it. Oh, yeah. And so now with kids growing up where Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and everything are so big in Mm -hmm. the world and like... You can't go anywhere without seeing, you know, like the logo um, for a social media um, site, even in stores. Like, and it's not all just like TV shows. Yeah, they advertise in movies and stuff now too. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, it'll be, it's crazy. And it's funny because I, people get annoyed because I'll point it out. We'll be watching like, like a, a, an Avengers movie or like one of the Marvel movies. Mm -hmm. And it's right in the middle of like this crazy alien fight. And there's all kinds of rubble everywhere, except for this perfectly clean little like MacBook somewhere. (laughs) And I'm like, okay, because that's not obvious right there. Right. So it is, it's true. It's just everywhere. It's always thrown in our face right? and everything. So I think that's another reason why it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me that teens and like, you know, kids growing up are obsessed with it. And that now it is becoming something that, is a reward and like mm-hmm. it's gratifying but then at the same time i think that kind of pushes that um area that that kind of gray area where now we're so worried about right acceptance and sometimes with social media like you're like you're not going to post bad things that happen to you you're always going to post like fun pictures pictures where you look really cute actually i post you know? the bad things that happen to oh. me too because that's <laughs> Because that's, that's, to me, that's the best part. Right. Well, yeah, you know, it is. But then as like a young, you know, um, mm-hmm. Super not awesome, child, but you know. like a teen coming up in this kind of a world, you want everything to always look like you're always having a great time. Like, that's true. It's, you know, I, you're projecting. I find it like an insecurity thing, which is, mm-hmm. but the thing is that's natural. I My favorite thing about it is just, just be aware. It's fine. You know, it's fine if you like social media. It's fine if you like your right. likes. It's fine if you want people to give you attention, but just be aware of it and don't over associate with it exactly. it's just your social media and mm-hmm. you have a life and i think it's a really fine line for some people exactly mm-hmm. you know can i just give a shout out actually i'm pretty sure you've heard of this guy which we are not affiliated with again <laughs> prince ea no what i'm serious he's all over youtube and facebook his oh, videos I don't, I don't be looking at youtube girl i know I'm, you're just I'm, trying to be cool i'm just I, I bet if he did a song with beyonce you would no oh, definitely he's not a musician well he kind of is he's he's like a, a spoken word poet oh okay. and he's really good but he talks about modern things like social media why Mm -hmm. we kind of over identify with it Mm -hmm. why we we need to kind of give our phones a break he talks about all these different topics his videos the longest one i've seen is like six minutes the shortest one is like 30 seconds they're really really good check him out prince ea i love him he's really good so which is true but then i also get 
the fact that social media can be really funny. Exactly. And so some people really enjoy um, social media, not necessarily because they're obsessed with it as far as like self-identity. Right. But just because of all the funny things that you can see on social media and like banter between Hillary and Donald Trump. Yes. Okay. So that's exactly what I was going to bring up. So earlier this week, um, Donald Trump tweeted and I, I saw this tweet come up on my timeline and I was like, this cannot be true. Like this cannot be their official accounts, but sure enough, little check marks were in the little, you know, Stupid by their check marks. I'm telling you, I want to see if Tinder will give me the very first so, Tinder blue check mark for my account. It should be like a purple check mark because it can't be like blue. Why purple? Purple, my favorite color. What should be something awesome? Like, what was your favorite? It's my check mark. Okay, but it's like, a- if they're gonna make it an official <laughs> color, it can't be blue because Twitter's blue. But it's Tinder. It's got to be. What so- color okay, is okay, Twitter? Red. Tinder. Red. Okay, it's, red. It's a little Fine. flame. Red. Yeah. Oh, it's a flame. Yeah. That's actually really funny. Yeah. Tinder it's, flame. It, exactly. I don't like it. I love it. It's creeping it. me out. <laughs> but anyway, so okay, so Donald Trump had tweeted, "Obama just endorsed crooked Hillary. He wants four more years of Obama, but no one else, nobody else does." And then my girl Hillary, which I mean, mm. not my girl, but mm. you know, I, I don't know her mm. or anything. But Hillary or whoever is, you know, posting on oh, Hillary's yeah, account in charge account. of that social media, um, responded and said, "Delete your account. To just do, to straight Trump. to it. Just delete your account. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else. Nothing more. Nothing less. That's the just politically acceptable version of, of like account. end your life. <laughs> <laughs> just." Cut it. Just have you cut seen it. have you seen Zoolander where he's like, turn off my phone? No, I, just, I haven't seen any of these movies. What? I know. I need to get a life. You, you really do. I'm telling you, that's why I only have 20 likes on Instagram. I'm boring. It's, it's your fault, really. I'm boring. I felt bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I did also see. I, I'm always on Twitter because Twitter, I think, is really funny because I follow a lot of funny people. Uh-huh. And so I saw that Hillary tweet, which I was just like, "Wow, drop the mic, Hillary!" Just like you know, I know. end it. Drumline status. <laughs> And then um, another funny thing that's been floating around. Drop the mic. Twitter. <laughs> or sip some tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was sipping tea. I was like, ooh, Hillary. But that's none of my business. But uh, <laughs> um, is Stephen Curry has um, debuted his new shoes with Under Armour. And um, they're terrible. They're ugly. They're, but here's my thing. They're not terrible. They're just not very interesting. They're not cool at all. They're mostly white. They look like nurse shoes. When they I saw, they yeah. do look like nurse when shoes. When I saw them, they look like nurse shoes. And so Twitter, of course, well, my Twitter timeline is going crazy because they're like, seriously, dude, like, what is this? No, you know what was terrible in my opinion? <laughs> Did you see Macklemore's Jordans? No. They were like pink, not pink, they were like salmon colored ugliness oh, mm-hmm, on your mm-hmm. feet. Ugliness yeah. on your feet. <laughs> Seriously. So I know that's the thing with like shoes. I mean, it's kind of fun. And then, of course, when people see them and they post about it, it's, oh, those come out, I think, tomorrow. More Some Yeezys? gray, gray, something. Kanye is releasing something with Adidas tomorrow. Okay. Something. But I don't know what time. I got an email and they're like, check Twitter for the time. Why Yeezy? I think Yeezy would have been cooler. I mean, I don't even know, to be honest. Something. What if him and Beyonce were best friends and they'd be Queen Ye? Queen. Oh, <laughs> yes. No, I'm telling you, me and Beyonce, Beyonce, I'm telling you. Yeah, I already uh, got it ready. Beyonce. I got you guys too. I'm telling you. I, I got you. Bay if Carter. it happens, you know, I'll bring her in the studio. She can, you know, get, I'm Beyonce, I'm always down to interview you. Anytime you're free, <laughs> I'm free. I'll make it work. Awake or asleep, whatever. You know, I mean, awake or, we'll make it work. It's fine. Know. Totally fine. If Blue wants to hop on a track, I'm with it. <laughs> you know? I, I mean, I'm busy, but I'll make some time. I'll so. make some time. I always have time. <laughs> have your people message my people. We'll, we'll, we'll you know, it at Hamus Parker. You know, uh, there you go, no Hamus problem. Parker, right. <laughs> Find me. I mean, I follow her on everything. I'm sure she can find me. She can definitely find me. <laughs> what if she's the hacker and she already has you? <laughs> oh, ooh. imagine if Beyonce is like, just like. I just can't imagine that. <laughs> like, she's No, she doesn't have time for this. Yeah. Nobody she's not got time for that. This. She's going to be like, oh, of course, more peasants talking <laughs> about me. <laughs> That's mean. Well, I mean, like, if I'm I was actually, Beyonce, I would think everybody else was peasants. You know, too. It's funny that you she's like Beyonce so much me. because I'm actually a really big fan of Jay-Z. Oh, see, like, but music aside too, just what he's built, you know. I'm and Brooklyn you, rappers from the '90s were so friends, good. But That's you won't true. let it happen. I will let it happen. I'm no. just playing hard to get. Whatever. You, oh, okay, I'll try. Uh, I'm down for the chase. You see, <laughs> see, guys, and then she goes for the chase. Down um, for it. Yeah, I, you just have to respect what these guys, where they start and where they end. It's incredible, you know. Correct. Dr. Dre, Jay Z. And there's all these other great rappers in between. And I like rappers, by the way, just because they're modern posts. I like what rappers post on Instagram. Uh-huh. Two they're chains. pretty funny. 
or on Twitter. <laughs> Some people. That's the other thing. But I think that's the fun thing about social media, though. You get to know your favorite celebrities in a different way. Right. So, you guys, be sure to check out your favorite celebrities on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Tinder. I'm your favorite celebrity. Exactly. Am I a celebrity? I'm not a celebrity. I mean, you, you will think be. I'm cool. You will be once I put Maybe you on I'll Tinder. Maybe I'll blow up. <laughs> no, do not put me on Tinder. Okay, so if anybody check her out on, on Tinder, Tinder at Miss Parker. Fake. It's so fake. It's a catfish. I'm not on Tinder. Guys, she likes basketball. I will never. No, shut up. <laughs> I will never be on Tinder. Paw off. None of that. Paw off. None of it. None of it. <laughs> well, you guys have a great day today. <laughs> we will see you next time or hear you next time or you will hear us next time. Actually. Yeah, you guys can listen to us. Respect your best friends. Respect Give it. them a huge shout out and pay attention to Steph the polls. Steph Curry doesn't need cool shoes if yeah. he's dropping dimes. Steph Curry's quitting the NBA and working at a hospital. We no. will see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye. Just kidding. Ha. Just kidding. You guys would miss us too much. I thought we were gone. Huh? Exactly. Don't forget to check out Golden State Media Podcasts. They're very good. They're super awesome. And hey, we're on them. So just check them out. Check them out. You can listen to us on iTunes, mm-hmm. Google, SoundCloud, Google Play, on our website, gsmcpodcast.com. Mm-hmm. And yeah, check us out. Listen to us. Replay us if you want to hear my voice again. Not a problem. See you next week. That's right. <laughs> gsmcpodcast.com mm-hmm. we will see you next week bye bye